Ito yung file, Arrow Logo Reveal, After Effects, free template ito. Nasa description box yung download information. First, i-extract muna natin yung file kasi WinRAR file ito. So, right-click, extract here. So, ito na yung extracted folder. Pag in-open mo siya, meron siyang 3 After Effects files. Pero, itong nasa top, yung Arrow Logo Reveal, ito yung CS6 or After Effects 2018 version. Okay, open muna natin yung After Effects 2018 program ko. Okay, open na yung After Effects. Then, File, Open Project. Pag nag-appear to, click OK. Yung template, meron siyang two screen sizes. Yung 1280 by 720 and 1920 by 1080. I will choose... 1920 by 1080. Close muna natin yung 1280 by 720. And then yung screen size, fit to 100%. I-preview muna natin yung template. So, yung project meron siyang 3 folders. May edit, non-edit, saka solids. So, so, we will only mind the edit folder and leave the non-edit and solids folder. Dito sa edit folder, meron siyang 3 subfolders. Yung audio, logo, and text. Yung logo, meron siyang 2 logos, while yung text, meron siyang 4 texts. Tingnan ko tong add logo 1. Then, add logo 2. So, basically, yung logo 1 and 2, the same lang. The only difference is that yung logo 1 meron siyang grunge metal effect. Yung logo 2, wala siyang grunge metal effect, no? Meron lang siyang black circle as border. Okay? Sa logo, I will add my own logos. File, import files. Dito sa logo 1, I will put yung my subscribe text below the picture. Make sure lang na yung logo mo, ilalagay mo below the grunge metal effect. And then yung sample logo dito, pwede na nating i-height. Okay, ito na yung aking first logo. If you want to check kung ano yung magiging appearance niya sa final output, punta ka lang dito sa 1920 by 1080 tab. So, eh, dito mag appear yung logo 1 nasa arrow. Okay, dito naman sa logo 2, ilalagay ko yung picture ko na walang subscribe. So, meron siyang black circle, no? So, gaya diyan. Dapat yung logo should be put inside the circle. Tinignan natin sa main file. May excess kasi nga naka-square yung logo ko. I-mamas na lang natin siya para matanggal yung excess ng image. I-lower ko muna yung opacity ng aking logo para mas makita ko yung black circle. Select mo lang yung logo and then punta ka dito sa yung pen tool. So, after 
after masking, nawala na yung excess ng image. Okay, balik tayo dito sa 1920 by 1080 tab. So, ayun na nga, nawala na yung excess ng logo. After editing the logo, punta naman tayo dito sa texts. Double click lang yung add text to one. So, yung first text, text 01, pag i-check natin, dito siya. Nasa body ng arrow. So, i-replace ko yung text ng welcome to my channel. Double click mo lang dito sa timeline panel yung text 01 and then ma-highlight siya dito sa composition panel and may kita mo na siya kung paano ma-edit. Yung font niya naka-default sa Arial but I will replace it with Big Noodle Titling. Yung borders na yan, guide yan, meaning to say, dyan lang dapat ang maximum size ng text. Meron din siyang grunge metal effect yung text. Pag in-off mo yan, may giging plain lang yung text pero wag natin i-off. Para yung color ng arrow magmatch doon sa text. If you want to further edit this text, Punta ka dito sa timeline, yung arrow, click mo, meron siyang drop-down arrow din. mag appear yung drop-down text and effects. And then, transform. Okay, increase natin yung scale para ma-enlarge yung text. Kung gusto mo namang i-move, dito lang sa anchor point. Pag i-check natin dito sa main file, much better yung appearance. Okay, repeat mo lang yung the same process for text 2 to 4. Itong text 0 to, i-replace ko with my name. And then yung font, gagawin kong Batman Forever. Okay, dito sa final output, ganito ang appearance niya, pero medyo maliit siya, no? Gusto kong i-increase yung text size. So, dito sa timeline panel, yung mga drop-down arrow, under transform, increase ko yung scale. But, if you can observe, yung yellow circle, nag-move together with the text kapag in-adjust ko yung scale. So, pag tinignan mo sa final output, ang awkward ng kanyang appearance. Pagkaganyan yung scenario, ang ibig sabihin kasi nun, yung yellow circle guide and then yung text naka-merge pag dito sa timeline panel. Pagkaganyan, double-click mo na lang yung text, then punta ka dito sa text editor. Dito mo increase yung text size. If you can observe, yung text lang ang nag-move. Pero yung yellow circle guide, intact. Pag i-check natin sa final output, ganito ang kanyang appearance. So, medyo napalaki naman. E decrease ko a little bit yung text size. Review natin yung edited template. Once na happy ka na sa edit, i-render na natin. Press Ctrl M on your keyboard. I-click mo tong lossless. Format should be QuickTime. 
then format option should be H264 and then OK the rest leave it as is and then click OK output to kung saan mo naman siya is save na folder press mo din yung caps lock para mabilis yung pag render nya and then click render okay wait na lang natin na matapos yung pag render ito na yung final output with sound effects. Okay, kung may natutunan kayo sa video nito, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And pa-click na din ang bell notification para updated kayo sa mga next uploads ko. See you next time. Bye!